The factors can be classified as maternal factors, which can be due to the maternal illness like severe PAH or preeclampsia, severe anemia or cardiopulmonary illness, which affect the gas exchange in the placenta, or any acute illness in the mother like septic shock, which can cause hypotension. The placental factors, as we discussed earlier, may include APH and abruption. It may be infection like choreomyelitis, or it may be abnormal presentation. This is often seen in multiple pregnancies. And it can be fetal factors like UGR, infection, antenatal insults to the developing brain. This is very important because that's the area where it clashes with postnatal assessment of the newborn's encephalopathy. If there is an antenatal insult like a porencephalic cyst which has damaged the brain or the baby has an underlying metabolic condition, the baby may be hypotonic. It affects the tolerance to labor as well as the baby's response after birth. Baby may need resuscitation because the baby has hypotonia already due to brain injury and it may get attributed to birth asphyxia. So it's very important how we document the settings around birth asphyxia. Is it really birth asphyxia and so on, as we will see in the coming slide.